Hello, this is part 2 of the tutorial on focal EEG abnormalities. I will discuss a number of focal pathologies as well as physiological findings on the EEG which may be misinterpreted as epileptic form discharge. So let's start with the first slide here. So what do you see here in this box? First try to define the state of this patient. So this patient is in stage 1 sleep. There are no eye blink artifacts. You do not see a lot of muscle artifact. You do not see sleep spindles which would have qualified it as a stage 2 sleep. The findings that I am referring to are in this box. So these small sharp spikes. As the name suggests these are called small sharp spikes and were previously called benign epileptic form transients of sleep. These are a benign variant and should not be misinterpreted as epileptic form discharges. These do not have an association with epilepsy. In general the amplitudes are less than 50 microvolts. The duration is left less than 50 milliseconds. You may see these lateralized to one hemisphere but if you record an EG long enough you will see that these small sharp spikes will show up on the other hemisphere as well. Okay, so let's close this slide and we will move on to the next slide. So let's look at this one. So what do you think? What do you see in this box? So in trying to define this look at the montage. So you're looking at the left hemisphere, so left temporal lobe and the right temporal lobe. This is just an average reference that we've just labeled SNA average. What is striking here are these waveforms. This one here and this one here. If you look at F7 which is placed in the left temporal lobe, uh, not left temporal lobe, rather left temporal head region on the left temple, you see a relative negativity on F7 as compared to the average reference. When you look at F8, you see a relative positivity here as compared to the reference. As you go along, if you take another point, if you take this point here, then F7 is relatively positive and F8 is relatively negative. And this goes on and on. Basically what you're seeing here are lateral eye movements. As you might know, the cornea of the eyeball is more positive relative to the retina. So when a person looks to the left side, the cornea, the positivity on the cornea gets recorded on F7 and the negativity on the retina gets recorded on F8. Vice versa, when the person is looking to the right, so at this specific point, the person is looking to the right because the cornea is closer to F8 which is on the right temple temple and there is a the retina is relatively closer to F7 which shows uh, as a negativity on F7. So these are lateral eye movements often seen with sleep but even in a wakeful patient if they have lateral eye movements you'll see this kind of an artifact. Okay next slide. We've reviewed this in the past uh, tutorial. These are sleep spindles in a young child. Sleep spindles are typically asynchronous early on in life and around 18 months or 2 years the sleep spindles become more synchronous and occur simultaneously between the left and the right hemisphere. Presence of sleep spindle indicates that the person is in stage 2 sleep. And so that has left us with this one. What do you see here? So the striking features here so this is left zygomatic electrode, this is F7 which is the left anterior temporal and T3 is the mid temporal. The most striking finding is right here. You see a polymorphic delta and theta activity, a mixture of polymorphic delta and theta activity with sharp waves. Now the sharp waves have the highest amplitudes at F7 and left zygomatic. So this EEG in itself, now you see a normal alpha rhythm. So if you look at O1, you have a normal alpha rhythm here. Even on O2, you see an alpha rhythm here. So the most striking finding is this focal slowing and epileptic form discharges. 
So you may su suspect or when you're interpreting this EG you may suggest that this EG is suggestive of a focal disturbance of cerebral function in the left temporal head region with an increased risk of seizure onset from this location. So what is the f question here? Select left temporal slowing and sharp waves. So this should be the correct answer and as you will see here. Okay, very good. So we we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, what about here? What do you see here? So first of all, patient is asleep. You're looking at a montage with left over right hemisphere. So this is left parasagittal right parasagittal, left temporal and right temporal electrodes. The most striking finding here is this rhythmic buildup. So you see one, two, three, four. So rhythmic theta activity of four hertz which evolves into a higher amplitude and then a slower frequency. So from a theta frequency it goes into a delta frequency with superimposed fast activity there within four or five seconds of the onset of this rhythmic theta and then delta activity in the right temporal region you see muscle artifact. So this is an onset of an electrographic seizure starting from the right temporal head region that came out of sleep and now there is motor activity that's involved. Okay, what about this one? So the box shows some kind of a rhythmic or periodic slow activity. If you look at the ECG electrode you'll see that these waves correspond with the QRS complex so this EE and this is coming from F8 so between the, this channel and this channel F8 is common. If the electrode, if the F8 electrode is placed on a blood vessel such as an artery so in the right temporal artery you can start picking up pulse artifact. So this is pulse artifact. This is not epilepsy form discharge. This has nothing to do with epilepsy and this corresponds with the QRS complexes. What about here? This is the area which is of significance. This may be misinterpreted as an electrographic seizure or epilepsy form discharge. But if you look carefully the frequency here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 to 6 hertz. You do not see a whole lot of evolution so as you saw in that right temporal seizure where there was a change in the frequency, a change in the amplitude. You don't see any of that stuff here. You see a mixture of faster frequencies along with it. You, the maximal amplitude is at T3 which is the mid temporal electrode. This is a benign variant. This was previously called a psychomotor variant the current terminology for this is rhythmic mid-temporal theta activity of drowsiness. This is a benign variant. It is monomorphic. It does not evolve. It does not have any association with epilepsy. Okay, what about this one? Striking feature is this sharp wave at F8, T4 and T6 with an after coming slow wave. These are rhythmic uh, excuse me, these are not rhythmic but this is a sharp wave followed by a slow wave with maximal amplitudes in the right temporal head region. So this EG is suggestive of an increased risk of seizure onset from the right temporal head region. For your information, CAR, C-A-R refers common average reference. So you see, take a number of electrodes and take an average of those electrodes and that's used as a reference or input too. So what is the answer? Select right temporal sharp waves. So this should be the right answer. We'll select this and that's the right answer. I'll stop here because I'm running out of time. I'll see you at the next tutorial. Thank you so much.